Here we go, guys. Tag team action is underway. When I think of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. Oh, no. She's in a bad way now. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. Jinder Mahal enters this match in fantastic shape tonight, guys. He already has an imposing look, but he also brings great strength. How can you counter all that, Corey? Yeah, Cole, the modern-day Maharaja is big and bad, but we've seen enough David versus Goliath battles in WWE to know that sometimes speed and cunning can win over brute force. I have to reiterate my point about using speed against gender. We've seen a few formerly fast wrestlers trade their leaner physique for more strength and muscle, but that causes their speed to drastically go down. The numbers don't lie, Corey. Mahal saw great success by training for strength, but agile superstars like AJ Styles and Jeff Hardy show that you can properly tire out and knock down a bigger man like gender. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Man, Braun Strowman, what offense. But I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. Jinder Mahal has become such a big threat as of late. Guys, how can you hope to counter the modern-day Maharaja? Okay, look, not to take anything away from Jinder Mahal and all of his accomplishments, but a lot of his success is tied to the Singh brothers. You need to plan for them. Byron brought up the strategy of taking out the Singh brothers, but it's easier said than done. Corey, how do you manage the multiple threats that come with Mahal and the Singhs? Well, it all comes down to timing, fellas. Jinder won both the WWE and United States Championship largely due to distractions. But if you're proactive, you can take out his underlings and still be able to top the modern-day Maharaja. And Ember Moon, too quick, takes her off her feet. That's how you eliminate somebody's vertical game. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the Finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. And she's knocked off her feet. I think that one caught her by surprise, Michael. Tagged in. That could break the nose. She's in 
in control now following that slam. Quick thinking to avoid that one. How you make an impact. Well, she wants this win bad. Looks like she's starting to stumble a bit. You can see her partner wants to get tagged in here. And this might very well be the turning point of this match. Unless, of course, she can come up with oh. something big here. Alicia Fox with the offense. We're looking at complete domination here. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. And Ember Moon, too quick. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. Seems like Alicia Fox is starting to lose steam. I think this match is starting to take it all out of her, guys. She really needs to make a tag here, guys. There's no way she can continue like this and expect to win the match. There's just no way. Well, she's been able to stay close to her opponent throughout this entire match, but this might just be where her luck runs out. Just a brutal move. Byron, one thing we learned very early on about Ember Moon, and she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. Oh, the reversal by Alicia Fox. There it is, Foxy putting those long legs to good use. Scissors kick! That's it. That's what she needed. Going for the cover. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. If I can reinforce what Byron was saying about Ember Moon's NXT Women's Championship victory, what made it so impressive, in my opinion, was that she had to defeat not one, but three other women to capture the gold. That's right. It was at TakeOver War Games where Ember Moon turned back Nikki Cross, Peyton Royce, and Kyrie Sane to become NXT Women's Champion. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me! In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Looks like she's gonna... There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the first Mahal is looking to end this. Strowman is taking it. Mahal hits it. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Look at She's got some foot left in her. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. Crushing blow. Check out Jinder Mahal's offense. That's how you move up the ladder here in WWE. Mahal is looking to end this. Through the 
witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. I don't remember the last time I saw Strowman manhandled like this. No, she's got a tremendous amount of resilience, so I think she's got some something left here. Can you believe this? What are we going to see here? Hung up on a snap breaker. Got the shoulders down. So close, just a little bit. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Oh, going to the top, high risk. now at this point she really needs to think about making a tag to her partner she's taking on quite a bit of damage here guys and if she doesn't find a way to make the tag soon this one might be over yeah but she still appears to be winning this match at least from my standpoint what a brutal beating we've seen dished out so far here tonight She lands the slam. A high-risk maneuver that works from that top turnbuckle. Ember Moon is getting red. Well, if that's any indication, she's not taking any prisoners in this one. Warm up the bus. This one is over. Didn't have to dig very deep to kick out of that one. She's still in this one. Oh, man, she's rolling now. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. She is on fire. I don't know how much more Jinder Mahal can endure. Her tag team partner has to be concerned at this point. Wow, fantastic ability from Ember Moon. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Talk about an awe-inspiring finisher, guys. Going all the way up. I think she's trying to prove a point here. And Ember Moon, too quick. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. This is going to be big, one way or another. Ember Moon is getting red so damaging. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. One, two. Big reversal for her there. Inverted Didi. Uh-oh. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. And Mahal just barely getting out of the way. She lands an enormous elbow. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Mahal is looking to end this. Mahal is looking to end this. Wow, a gut buster. That should do it. She goes for the cover. One. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. They did it. They won the match. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle.
When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Here are your winners, Alicia Fox and Jinder Mahal. Big win here in tag team action tonight. These two girls make me think that we should have a women's tag team championship. Who do I have to talk to to get that done? And folks, just to confirm, yes, the San Antonio crowd really is as lively as they sound.